It was a moment that our 10 News family will never forget. A falling tree that almost killed our reporter Marie Cornell, who was covering severe weather that night. And one year later, Marie is talking about the twists and the turns of her recovery with 10 News anchor Jason Martinez. I'm going to get through this. For the past 12 months, we've followed Marie's recovery closely. Her return home from the hospital. Take it, bud. And her trip to meet the firefighters who saved her. I'm Aaron. But there was something none of us knew about her road to recovery. I, something I, personal I that she's Definitely. just now sharing. No one knew that I was pregnant at the time. Marie was in her first trimester that morning. This tree fell. Then the tree fell. Marie had a broken neck and concussion. She survived, but the baby didn't. It just felt like another kick to the stomach because here, you know, this horrible accident happened and then this one thing that gave you hope got taken away too. But for Marie and family, the story doesn't end there. The tide is shifting for the better. There's something positive that we can share that I'm pregnant again. So... There's hope, hold it still. Marie's little boys, Patrick and Joseph, are ready to welcome their little brother or sister in August. This gives you, you know, that extra push that, okay, something good will happen from this. Marie struggles with PTSD, but talking about the traumatic accident helps. And the encouraging emails and messages from you, the viewers, has in some ways kept her spirits alive. Just thank you. Um, you don't know how much that has helped me um, get through one of the toughest years of my life. Physically, Marie is clearly getting better. There's no need for a neck brace anymore. She does physical therapy daily, but there's still no timetable for her return to the 10 News airwaves. But she says, stay tuned. But there's no question that my heart is still wanting to go back and do the job that I've always wanted to do. Jason Martinez. And I miss it. 10 News. You know, I miss it's been a long road for her, but she's been so strong and has so much support from her family as well as all of us behind her. She's remained positive despite uh, a very severe tragedy, too. All right, tennis photographer Mike Gold, who was also there that night, suffered a broken leg in the incident. He's fully recovered. He's been back on the job with us for several months.